place is full, so I guess it's time to call the <laughs> meeting of the Madison County Physical Court to order. Kenny? Master King? Here. Master Barger? Here. Master Hughes? Here. Master Combs? Here. Judge Clark? Here. Uh, just, this is a special call meeting, and the primary reason uh, started out to be approved claims with EOC expansion, where we just had one court in July because of people's schedules. Uh, these people need their money, and Carl has talked them into uh, going on wait until we have a court meeting day and getting those bills paid. And then, uh, first, I'm going to ask for a motion on Carl's recommendation to approve the claims for the EOC expansion. So moved. Second. <clears throat> Master King? Yes. Master Barger? Yes. Master Hughes? Yes. Master Combs? Yes. Judge Clark? Yes. Uh, now, Carl, did you want to speak to him just a little bit, or do you want to wait? Well, I can do it now if you'd like me to. Well, we're talking about the EOC, so I think it'd be a opportune time to just go on and mention to them. They can think about it, and we can vote on it at the next meeting. Okay. Uh, what, what Judge Clark is talking about is we'd like to do something a little out of the ordinary for the COC project as far as bill payments because of when fiscal courts get moved and timing of when we get bills and what we have, you know, 30 days to pay, et cetera. What we'd like to start doing is putting together, as soon as we get the payment uh, invoices and that we've approved them, we'd like to put together a spreadsheet that we send through the fiscal court packages for you guys to look at and approve contingent upon the state money being dropped into the county's account for the EOC expansion project. Uh, that will eliminate all these delays and stop the uh, vendors from wanting to hit us with the penalties they're allowed to charge us per the contract. So um, talk to Glenn about it. Tammy, Glenn, and I worked through it, and we figured it out. We can do it. it we're not outside of any of the laws or KRSs that we're aware of. Uh, she doesn't believe the auditors are going to have an issue with it because we're not going to actually pay the bill until the money's sitting in our account. But like, for instance, these bills you're paying today, the money's been sitting in the account since the 25th of July because we had court on the 22nd. And we knew the money was coming in on the 25th, but couldn't write a check then and couldn't ask you guys to approve it before because we didn't have the money. Now we want to start the spreadsheet to try to eliminate that in the future. Uh, I've talked to other counties that are doing EOC projects, and that's the way they're doing it because some of them only have court once a month every month, and that you'll never make your bills <laughs> if you only have one court a month. So. so think about it a little bit. It's special call meeting, so I don't want to vote on it. But, Carl, I'll put it on the agenda for the next meeting, and okay. I don't think anybody will have a problem with it and kind of keep you all ahead of the game out there. Yeah, because we're at the end of the project now where big bills are, are coming in, you know, talking a, you know, a couple hundred thousand at a time, 300,000 at a time. So Everything that, on time? No, we're about three weeks behind because of two issues. Uh, the uh, original builders were overachievers. They were supposed to left two walls hollow, and they decided it would be better if they filled every fifth core or cell each way, horizontal and vertically. And we were supposed to fill it for this project from floor to ceiling, uh, and we can't because they've got them filled already, some of them, so we can't get through it. So it took us a couple weeks with engineering uh, to come up with a new solution. Uh, supposedly we've got it. I'm waiting for them to implement it. And then the other thing was the backfilling, the compaction that was done previously, since we didn't have someone like a Codell or watching the project to make sure it was done properly, they just did it however they want, and the soil was not adequate to support the building, the new addition. So we're going down about 10 foot further than we anticipated, and we've run into solid rock now. Okay. Uh, so, but about three weeks behind, but we think we can catch up a big chunk of it once we get past these two hurdles. Good deal. Thanks, Carl. You're welcome. Uh, the, the other thing on the uh, on the agenda is a resolution and approval of a, of a Kentucky transportation agreement with the Madison County Fiscal Court on discretionary funding. And I might want to add because uh, Representative Rita Smart is in the courtroom today. And Rita and I visited the governor and his staff about three weeks ago. And we're able to receive $1.1 million for the airport to get the first phase going. And while we had the governor's ear, uh, we slipped him a copy of about $482,000 worth of roads that we would have really liked to get done this year. And uh, called back a little bit later, the commissioner called and said the governor has approved every road that you all submitted. So uh, we've got to get a resolution in so they can get a contract back to us, and we're going to try to get these down this year. 
So when I've got a list of the roads, if anybody wants these. Uh, but Rita, would you like to say anything? First of all, I'd like to thank you all for the good job that you do as I walk the streets and talk to the citizens of Madison County. I think we have an outstanding court and you've, you have proven that. You know my background in fiscal responsibility and so I am continuing to monitor that state budget, especially the transportation budget, watching for uh, particular areas of funds that might be available that we could bring back here to Madison County because we do have a large county, we have a large population, we have a lot of needs. So um, I visit the governor's office regularly, talk with the different commissioners and secretaries, and um, when the judge indicated to me that some of these roads need, and some of the people in the county have spoken to me about them, then I try to relay that message on to the different agencies, and where I see funds that might be available, try to work to get that, and I'm proud that uh, we've got this opportunity, and uh, with good weather right now, I hope that we can get the blacktop laid and some of those projects finished. Thank you all very much. Rita, thanks so much. We appreciate everything you do for us in Frankfurt, and trust me, she's there every day. <laughs> they can't turn her down. <laughs> uh, so let's go on and, and uh, do the resolution, and it's just a simple resolution adopting and approving the execution of a discretionary funds program contract between fiscal court, Commonwealth of Kentucky Department of Transportation, and the Department of Rural Municipal Aid for the year 14 and uh, authorizes me to sign the agreement when it comes in. And I'll bring that in front of you all when it does come in, but the commissioner felt like if I could go on and get this resolution done and get it to him, we could fast track the, uh, the contract, get it signed, sent to us, get back where they can go on and get the roads inspected and we can try to get them done this year. So uh, upon that, a motion be in order to approve resolution 1407 authorizing me to enter into the agreement with the Department of Transportation. So <clears throat> Mr. King? Yes. Mr. Barger? Now, I'm not going to vote against it, but uh, I'm glad to see any roads get blacktop, but out of 482,000, I got $24,000 worth of road work. I'll vote for it, yes. Yes. Mr. Hughes? Yes. Mr. Combs? Yes. Judge Clark? Yes. Uh, I don't have what we've already done, Roger, but we've already done Walnut Hill, was in your district, plus I've got Lower Hines Creek on the Flex funding, which is uh, 44000 plus River Hill Drive, which is 54000 So that's 100000 that you got out of the Flex funding out of uh, 260,000, you got over 100 it. So we're, we're trying to be fair about everything. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't get nowhere near that uh, flex funds. But I'm not grabbing. Okay, we got a motion and a second. And vote. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we all voted. Okay, good deal. <laughs> right, well, I got off on the flex funding. Okay, so we'll get this. We'll hand carry it or overnight it to uh, Don Pasley and get that done and uh, and bring you up on the flex funding. I've talked to him, talked to him this morning. Matter of fact, they've been inspected. But they have a new procedure that uh, some boy in the engineering department has to come out and go over them and submit. Uh, an estimate which we've already done and we're always closer than the state is on that but hopefully we can get the flex funding project and also the discretionary funding uh, everything signed okayed inspected and get all that down in the next couple of months uh, it totals about seven hundred forty seven thousand dollars and we've already put down over three hundred thousand so that'll be over a million this week this year that's pretty good so it, with that a motion would be to adjourn I'd like to share a comment while Rita's here. I'd like to say to let the state know that we appreciate them. I know they was here a couple months ago and I brought up issue on 52 and they done come in there and moved the earth and fixed the road and I mean done a spectacular job on it 
and I'd like for as us to even send them a uh, appreciation letter for uh, addressing that situation so quick and doing it. And I'd like to thank y'all for your response on it. So thank you for the money coming in too. Good deal. Motion to adjourn. So much. Second. Pastor King. Right.